All right, so taking a look at example one, we have g of x equals x plus three, h of x equals x cubed plus four. It says find g minus h of x. So what we have to do is subtract, all right? So the function operation is subtraction. We set it up. First of all, this x has to be the one that we substitute in for both of the x's. So remember, we want to go right here and right here. So with this one, it'll be g of x equals, and since it is x, x plus 3. And this one, it'll be h of x equals x Q plus 4. Now it says G minus H. Alright? G minus H. So, G is X plus 3. And since we're dealing with minus, we're going to put that second part, that second binomial in parentheses. So, X cubed plus four. Now, whenever we have a minus outside of parentheses, that means that it's really a negative one right there, all right? So that means that the sign of these two are gonna change. So it's basically saying that you have negative one times x to the third and negative one times four. That leaves x plus three minus x to the third minus four. Now if we're writing this polynomial in standard form, then we combine our like terms and according to like terms, it's minus x to the third goes first. So negative x to the third, the x comes next plus x. And these two can have positive three and negative four, which is minus one. So your answer, negative x to the third plus x minus one. All right, let's take a look at example two. It says g of t equals negative three t plus three. h of t equals uh, t squared minus two. And then it says find two g minus four h of one. All right, so same rules apply. Well, they just added an extra step in it, so that's no problem. So let's get started with the G of T. We're going to say G of T equals, we could say negative three times this one plus three. All right, negative three times one is negative three plus three equals zero. All right, so g of t is zero. And the next one, we have t squared minus two. So one squared minus two these one minus two which is negative one all right so now we take g of t which is equal zero h of t which equals negative one and we plug it in right here to find our answer so two times zero minus four times negative one. Two times zero is zero. Negative four times negative one, positive four. Your answer, four. All right, in the next problem, we have f of a equals negative a squared 
minus 5a and g of a equals negative 3a minus 5. And this one's a little bit different because we have um, f of negative 2 times g of negative 2. So each uh, letter has its own, each variable has its own parentheses and number. So what we have to do is for the f of negative 2, we're going to plug it in for the first equation where it says f of a equals. So you have negative because the negative is in the problem. Negative 2 squared minus 5 times negative 2. Alright, so we're going to take this down here. Have L negative 2 equals all right negative 2 squared is positive 4 so negative 4 negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10 all right so that leaves 6 negative 4 plus 10 is 6 Looking at the second one, we have g of negative 2, so that negative 2 has to be plugged in right here. So we say, I'm going to write this one in a different color. So we say negative 3 times negative 2 minus 5. All right, I'm going to come down here. We're going to say g of negative 2 equals negative 3 times negative 2 6 minus 5 which equals 1 alright so since our operation is multiplication alright we're going to just say 6 times 1 J6. All right, taking a look at this problem, um, it's a little bit different than the other operations we've been doing. We have g of a equals 3a plus 4, h of a equals 4a minus 4, and then it says find g, and it has a, a, a symbol that's different from the others. That's, that's the uh, a degree symbol, which means of h. So find g of h at negative 3, all right? So basically what that means is we're going to plug one expression inside of the other, all right? And this is how it works. So... The red is going to represent 3a plus 4, all right, which is g of a. We'll say g of a, or 3, and we're going to leave a parentheses, all right? So that means that wherever we see a in, the first, in g of a, then we're going to replace it. So wh wherever we see g of a where we see uh, a and g of a we're going to replace it with 4a minus 4 all right so we have 3 times 4a minus 4 plus 4 all right next we do the distributive property so 3 times 4a is 12a 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 bring down the plus 4. These two are like terms, right? So now we have 12a minus negative 12 plus 4 is 8. So now that we have this expression, we can go ahead and plug in negative 3. 12 times negative 3 minus 8 
12 times negative 3 is negative 36 minus 8. 36 minus 8 means we add our answer, negative 44.